Live. <laughs> we are live at the Genesis Media Reception. 3 p.m. First media day at the Chicago Auto Show 2020. And this is uh, right across from Alfa Romeo here at the show. Turn around there, there's Alfa Romeo. Over there's the Ford. And when you see people talking on there, or, um, you know, chatting, engage with them. Yeah. Talk to them. You know, if someone says, hey, I want to go see the so-and-so, ask them, where's that at? Okay. If someone says you want to get a closer look, then do it. Talk about light, talk about light, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a long time ago. Yeah, it's much more comfortier when you stand on this carpet versus this carpet, huh? Yeah. The, the black carpet is the padding. Very mm -hmm. There we go. consider it and turn their volume down in their video game. What does Genesis actually mean again? It's a biblical term. First book of the Bible. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. These are sharp looking cars. Oh, yeah. That's the fact that they're Korean. You know, and yeah. You just put a Mercedes Benz logo on it. Yeah. Well, they had a very powerful engine. Yeah, yeah, they had that V8. It was all wheel drive. Yeah. And like anything, they're getting better, you know, all the time, you know. When I saw the first Toyota at, at the auto show back in 1973, I laughed at it. Same true for the upcoming Korean, so the Chinese cars, it'll be uh -huh. 10 years or so. Back then, the um, Toyota looked like an overgrown golf cart. <laughs> Who would have known? <laughs> so when I zoom this, does it zoom the... The uh, the picture too on the on the light board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it will, but it's yeah. not actual zoom. It's just probably. I know, I know, I know. And then the thing about that is, it's it just gets harder and harder to. I know, it's to not, it, yeah, yeah, not yeah. not to wait. I know, like that. It's better just to move, use your feet, but you know, when I know. The presentation, you can't really do that. So yeah, feel free to you know move around laterally. Yeah. Well, they're late. Here we go. Hello, everyone. Hello. I'm Kevin Smith, head of PR for Genesis Motor America, head of PR and CSR, Corporate Social Responsibility. Thank you all for joining us here at the Genesis stand to spend a little quality time with us and our first ever SUV. I want to take a quick moment to give you a little background on Genesis for those of you that may not be fully familiar with us. We are the youngest luxury automotive brand in the industry. We've been around for about four years now. We initiated the brand in November of 2015 uh, with a, a statement in, the, in Seoul, South Korea, our home market. And then in January of 16 at the Detroit Auto Show, we made the pronouncement that we're separating Genesis as a separate brand from our parent company, Hyundai. So we've been around for just over four years now as a separate luxury automotive brand. In that time, we've had a, quite, a, quite a great ride, great string of the quality awards and vehicle awards. And uh, today we're here to show you the first ever SUV from Genesis, the GV80. I'm going to start off with a quick video right now, and then coming out of the video, I'll say a few more words about the vehicle. Thanks.
Genesis GV80 was designed, engineered, and developed as a Genesis first and an SUV second. We've done a great job with our G90, G80, G70 luxury sedans. We wanted that luxury and those amenities to be fully apparent in the GV80 SUV as well, and for it to also have all the qualities of an SUV in terms of functionality and capabilities. So we've got a luxury vehicle first and foremost, and I'll talk about some of the, the uh, features and content in a moment. Uh, they, they give it more luxury than most SUVs have, most if not all, but also it's got all the capabilities and functionality of an SUV as well. Um, Design-wise, we've got our signature athletic elegance design aesthetic across this vehicle. You can see very clearly in the, the crest grille with our G-matrix design and the diamond-shaped pattern of the grille. We've got our quad lights up front and our quad, light, quad tail, light, tail lamps in the back. If you look at the side profile, I realize you can't see it very well for most of you up front here. But on the side profile, we've got a parabolic line that runs from the front all the way to the back, and it's kind of low in the front, rises up in the middle, and lowers in the back. It gives the car a good stance, makes it look like it's moving when it's just standing still. It's ready to pounce. It's got a lot of performance to it. The vehicle is available with either a 2.5 liter four cylinder turbo engine or a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6. The two liter or the two and a half liter four cylinder turbo engine will have rear wheel drive standard or all wheel drive as an option. The three and a half liter V6 10 point twin turbo will have all wheel drive only. Um, talking about uh, Genesis and our DNA, there's three primary pillars to our DNA at Genesis. One is audacious, and you see the audaciousness in the design, I think. It's got a real presence on the road. You see it on the outside of the car, certainly. You see some on the inside as well. It's we're progressive is the second pillar, very progressive, and some of the features that pay off the progressive were the fact that the vehicle has a couple of world first technologies in it, one of which is road active noise cancellation. So road active noise cancellation has a controller inside the vehicle that takes in inputs from microphones and accelerometers to know what's happening in the vehicle in terms of road noise, and it generates an, a, 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 an inverted sound to that sound pattern within two thousandths of a second to compete against that sound and make it quiet inside the cabin. It's the first vehicle in the world with that technology. So that's very progressive. The second is it's got an active motion driver's seat, which has seven bladders in it, seven air bladders. And so it keeps you more comfortable, less fatigue on a long drive. That's another world first technology. So those, those pay off the progressive pillar of our DNA. The third pillar of our DNA is distinctly Korean. And that one's paid off very much so in terms of the interior design. We have what, in, in Korea, they have an architectural design philosophy called the, the beauty of white space, which is clean open space that makes it very vol voluminous, very roomy and spacious. And we have that design inside the GV80 very much so. It's a, a clean, uncluttered look, a minimalist design. There's very few buttons and switches on the dash. The dash has a 14 and a half inch uh, split screen, touch screen up top on, on the dash, and, and the HVAC system is actually a separate touch screen as well. So there's very few buttons, but two separate touch screens to access all the features and benefits we have in the vehicle. Um, beyond that, we've got uh, a very spacious interior and a beautiful interior as well. The G matrix design of the grille you see also in the wheels and the quilting on the seats front and rear. Front and rear seats are heated and cooled. 
and more features than, than you care to know about right now. But rather than bore you with more feature details, please come on up and have a look, and we'll answer any questions you may have. Thanks for joining us again. Thank you very much. Very nice interior. Quilted seats. Goodness. That was reserved for you there, sir? Um, yeah, one for okay. me and one for my colleague. Okay, sir, I didn't want to take one if it wasn't. So. Yeah, so. That taken there or something? Oh, yes, okay, I didn't thought I didn't want to. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't ask it. So. Got a tray walking around, so this is champagne.
because, yeah. I mean, I mean, this one we just got lucky with. Like, she might be out with another tray, just That's stand by. Really well. I know. You can cut her. It's not even that many people watching. Okay, turn off. The, um, the beer.